Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Tukitty and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Going to do another energy update today. So this is for December 29th, 2019. And as of right now, the Schumann Resonance has hit a high frequency power of 92. So that being said, um, you know, that's fairly high. It's nothing extremely significant like we've seen in the past um, little while. We I think it was 258 was the highest. So that was completely off the charts. But 92 is still very high considering the extensive period of calm that we've had for the past few weeks with very minimal increases of potentially around like 34, 37. So this is higher than we've had in a little while, but that's not what I'm really wanting to talk about. It's not necessarily the high that it's reached, it's the extensive period of time that this power or this frequency has affected um, our electromagnetic fields of the earth as well as of our, our physical bodies. So the period of time that this lasted for was extensive. It didn't you know, it wasn't like a column effect. It was very drawn out. So this, I think, occurred over the course of um, a few hours. Yeah, so I'll leave the link below to the Schumann Resonance site that I use regularly to check on what's going on. Um, but what I've been feeling intuitively as we move through these uh, pretty significant <laughs> points of transition is that there's a lot going on underneath the surface. There's a lot going on at the mental and emotional levels as well as at the physical level, which is what I've been talking about in my previous energy updates about the physical body and how trauma is being released from the muscles. So it's now, it's at that point still, um, but it's now also integrating into the mind. So there's a lot that we have to release as it relates to um, victim mentality and the ego. So the card of the day that came out was the Eight of Swords today. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know what I was saying about that. So I was talking about how this this is kind of a self-created prison that we're being forced to face right now. And I pull the card of the day um, from a tarot app on my phone, but I also pulled an actual card as well for the day and eight of swords came out for that one as well so that's a double whammy this is major confirmation but what i love about it is that the eight of swords from the tarot app is from the traditional rider weight and that has the depiction of the the woman surrounded in swords and she's blindfolded and tied up so this is a very clear demonstration of our self-limitation because swords are mind it's created through the mind, through the ego, through fear or victimization of the self. Um, on some levels, it can be feeling left out as well. Feeling left out or misunderstood or outcast in some way can have a, a grounding in why you feel put out or victimized in the first place. So there is a, a sort of an emotional trigger there that created the mental barrier but it's the mental construct itself that needs to be deconstructed to be able to move forward in the traditional image the woman is tied up but she can still move and there's water on the ground that leads her out of the circle of swords so this is an indication that when we trust our intuition and we follow our heart or our true feelings they will guide us out of that mental trap. So because it's a mental trap, trying to solve the problem through more um, more usage of the mind, it's not going to get us really anywhere that we're trying to go. So the deck that I have, um, that I pulled the actual card from, like the physical card from today, the Eight of Swords is depicted as Pegasus. So this is, you know, a magical winged horse created by the gods who is depicted flying up high in the sky with a rainbow behind her. And this really indicates the more positive aspects of the Eight of Swords. So this is our ability to fly free, to free ourselves um, using the magic within us. And magic has been a big theme in the past few days, the angels and the magic theme has really been coming through in a lot of the sessions that I've been having um, with 
like the Reiki with clients, as well as um, a lot of the messages that I've been getting and picking up on intuitively. So this is really a time for us to tune into that higher consciousness, which is what angels represent. They are multidimensional beings who exist at a higher dimensional field of thought um, and consciousness. And so they vibrate physically higher and therefore they exist on those in those realms. Now, magic is, again, a high vibrational tool that we have at our disposal. It is within us already and it really is just about tapping into that by vanquishing these self-made mental limitations so because we've been raised to believe um, in this society that magic is not real that it is uh, a figment of our imagination and we were led to believe that we are limited that we are only human that we can only do so much and we have to work within the physical realm but these things aren't true They're part of the illusion and they're part of what keeps us separated and limited, Um, but it's a self-perpetuating system of thought. So because we're taught that, we believe it. Because we believe it, it becomes true. So it really is now about ascending to that higher level of consciousness that gives us access to the magic in our day-to-day life. So this is manifestation using the law of attraction, understanding the laws of karma, of give and receive, of cause and effect that can allow us to transcend these mental limitations that have been created and perpetuated by the ego and free ourselves from this mental trap of these eight swords. So it's time now to step into our true power to free ourselves, to bring these motivations to consciousness so that we can rise from the ashes. And, you know, we don't have to burn away out of anger our ego We just have to embrace it. We have to understand it because what's reborn is still a portion of that, but it's it's the higher vibrational aspect of it. And so it's about being able to to let go of that that need to hold on, which is so very much tied to the ego. So Right now, very much Eight of Swords energy on this day as we move through this high vibrational column of of energy that has persisted over the past few hours um, on the 29th moving forward into January 2020 coming up soon. Um, So that being said, I also wanted to remind you guys that the Reiki promotion is still on until December 31st. So the countdown is, you know, a few days from now. Um, If you'd like to take advantage of that 40% off discount then please reach out to me at the email provided in this in the description box below. Just hit the little um, upside down arrow or the show more button, depending on whether you're on your phone or your computer, and you'll get a drop down list of my services, offerings, and how to contact me. So Reiki right now has been so helpful for me and for my clients. A lot of people have been coming forward um, divinely guided by spirit, and it has been really magical and really beautiful. And this has helped me to confirm that Uh, this reality is magical, that we are magical, that miracles do and can happen. So this has really been um, a huge a huge tool and a huge part of of the ascension of humanity, whether you call it Reiki or whether you call it universal life force energy, whether you call it consciousness, whether you call it source or God, whatever name you choose to put on it, It is what's helping us to rise into who we were meant to always be, but who we forgot that we were. So I will just leave that there for today. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Some of the side effects of this can be, you know, feeling unmotivated. My sleep schedule is all out of whack right now because of this fluctuation. And I started to feel it come in yesterday um, in the form of energies uh, swirling around and emotional sensitivity and irritability, as well as I get the pings in my ears, you know, the, the high frequency and the pulsations as well. So whenever there, there's a pulsation within my inner ear, it, it's always an indication that something big is going to happen. So there's a lot going on on the inside right now. Please take care of yourself as you would a child at this time. Like I was saying on my last energy update from yesterday on my Instagram account, I, I was talking about how we really need to nurture our bodies and our minds as we would a child. So we need to give ourselves support and nutrition and nutrients, whatever we need, sleep. You know, we need to be very aware of our 
needs and we need to meet those needs, even if it's something that feels uncomfortable for us or that requires self-discipline. So this is super, super important because there's a lot going on um, at the emotional and physical levels. And these are big shifts. These are big changes that need to happen and that are happening. So it really does take time, energy, care, and awareness above all as well as action. All right, guys, so I'll leave it there for today. I really hope everybody's doing well. Um, Some of these symptoms can be tough, but you'll get through it. We'll get through this. We have done it in the past and we'll do it again. I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Again, if you'd like to book a reading or a Reiki session, the information is in the description box below this video. Just reach out to me at siomcg41 at outlook.com. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you to all the clients who have come forward for Reiki. Um, It's been a blessing and I'm so honored to provide this service for you guys in such a magical connection. I love you and we'll see you next time. Bye.